Hello, this is from Tri-Fro Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to uh, answer a question that was uh, given by a subscriber. And what they were wanting to know was how I was able to recreate this scene or create this scene with this person in the vehicle. Um, and the background was moving. Let me uh, kind of push this back so you can see what I'm actually talking about. Let's press play. And the person is in their vehicle, and you can see the background is moving because the vehicle is itself moving. And there's an easy way to do this without having to actually move the whole vehicle and the person at the same time to s try to simulate the uh, movement of the vehicle through a background, or through a, a, scene, a scene, so to speak. Now, in order to do this, you're going to have to go to, I've got the scene set up here, but before we go there, let's go to a site where you can download textures, which will help with this scene. And I usually go to Texture Haven, or not Texture Haven, Texture.com. And they've really updated, updated their site since the last time I looked at it. They've got a lot more options. And the site looks a whole lot better than it used to be. And if you go to their site, you just click on uh, the library. Once you've clicked on the library, you can click on... Uh, that and you will come across my phone's ringing so that's I just got slightly distracted there but you click on library you can see that uh, it's got a lot of options here and you go down to go down to landscapes you click on that it'll give you a whole set of uh, different options and some of these um, backgrounds are free the the uh, low resolution ones are free uh, the high resolution ones they, there's a fee for that but the low resolution ones that work just as well and the good thing you can do with this is make sure that when you download any of these textures for this particular uh, technique make sure you download a texture that is like long enough what I mean by that is if we clicked on the city one you can see that the length of the um, texture is uh, a lot a lot uh, longer, so to speak, than the height of it. So make sure you click something that is long that you can use uh, for this technique. And I'll leave a, the link of this uh, site in the in the video in the description. Loads of videos you can just click on it and download whatever you need to download. And you'd have to sign up with the um, uh, you have to register in order to download any of these textures. Now once you've done that. Uh, you go into Blender. I've had this thing set up with the truck. You've got the truck on the outside. And I uh, created this being or this person in Make Human. And I just made a quick seat, quick truck, and a quick steering wheel because this is going to help sell the, sell the impression the vehicle is moving through a scene. And what's going to help with this scene is that we're getting rid of these windows. So I'm going to click on, I'm gonna click on the windows and I'm going to press delete so you can see through. Now once you've done that, you're going to go to uh, File, and then Import, and it says Images as Planes. Now, if this option doesn't come up whenever you um, the pop-up menu comes up, in order to activate, activate that, you go to Edit, and Preferences, and then you're going to go to the Search menu, or Search Bar, click in there, and type in Planes, and then just put a check in this box, and it activates that. And that what that's going to do is help you import a plane into Blender without having to do much. It's going to import the plane as it is. If it's a PNG uh, X or a PNG based plane, which it means that the background is transparent, it's going to import it <coughs> with the transparency and with the dimensions as it is downloaded from the site wherever you downloaded it from. Now I've already uh, downloaded a site or a texture for this scene, so I'm going to go to File, Import. Uh, images as planes and I'm going to go to navigate to where I've saved all my textures here it's going to be in blender textures that's the folder I created for this uh, for all my textures and click on that double click and you can use this technique for any version of blender I'm using 2.82 I think but it can work for 2.79 or whatever because it's just moving the plane back and forth I'm going to change my viewport view to thumbnail. I'm going to scroll down to la a landscape that I've uh, that I would want to use for this scene or this technique. 
Let me see. Let me go all the way down to landscape. Here's some landscapes. They're not as long as I would like them to be, but for the sake of the tutorial, they'll work fine. I'm going to click on that landscape and import as plane. And it's going to show up right here. I'm going to change the viewport to an EV. Change it to a BV viewport so you can see the colors. Okay. Let me uh, increase the brightness of my scene so we can see the scene a little bit better. There we go. Let's scale this up. Now, where you'd want to place your camera, because what I did with this scene is I, I, I did a close up of the subject. That way I could avoid having to animate the hands. I just kind of moved the body back and forth a little bit and moved the steering wheel so it could look like his hands were at the bottom of the steering wheel navigating the car like that. That way you can get away with not having to uh, navigate the hands on the wheel and all that, all that stuff, just bypass all that and just get a close up of your subject. And make sure you have the background, this is the selling point, make sure the background, you can see it through uh, the car window. And that's why we deleted the windows here. Let me pull this up some more so you can see the, the land. <clears throat> and another important thing you, you have to know is that when you uh, place your model, vehicle, and person, place them on, an, on a straight axis. Uh, I've placed mine on the y-axis so it goes back and forth. That, that way I can, I, I can easily navigate, uh, navigate the background easily without having to do it on an angle. So place it on the y-axis or x-axis. If you place it where it's kind of tilted, where it's kind of angled, your uh, subject is angled, you can move the background back and forth, but it's just going to be a little bit harder and won't be as easy to do. So just place it on the y-axis or the x-axis for easy navigation, easy movements of your, your background scene. And then we're going to move into our vehicle. That's where we're going to place our camera. Okay, then in order to get our actual camera pointed inside of the vehicle, pointing pointing from inside out, you just navigate. You just place uh, the way you want it to look in your uh, user interface. Leave it li like that, and then you go to View, Align View, Align ad Active Camera to View. Let's click in there, and then we have that. We're gonna kind of move this around a little bit. Grab it on the Y axis, and grab it on the X axis to move it out. Okay, and that looks that looks good. Okay, we've got that. That's that's where we want the camera to be. And now, in order to get that effect of the vehicle moving through a scene without having to actually move the whole vehicle, we're going to split our scene up. And we're going to go into top view by pressing seven. Let's make sure we have our camera our background scene selected seven from the top and we're going to turn our on our uh, recorder here it records uh, movement without having to press the um, keyboard shark I think it's control I or is it I maybe it's just I yeah just I so we don't have to keep pressing I all the time so we're gonna move this back here and make sure that when we move our scene that the scenes always in view of the camera and that's the something point also. So we're going to press our our uh, recording auto key recording uh, element there. Left click on the Y axis. Let's move this down to 40, and then move our scene also. And then it automatically records the placements of the the scene. Let's go back. Let's play this, and you can see it moves. But in order to sell this even more, we want to obviously automatically we'll just assume that we've already moved our character around a little bit because we don't want them to be just this stiff but in order to make it feel like the <coughs> excuse me vehicle is actually moving we're going to animate our sting wheel so I want to keep our auto king on I'm going to increase that a little bit we could use noise modifier but this is just such a simple uh, way of doing it we don't really need it so to speak we want to kind of rotate our wheel. Now, if we rotate it now, it's going to rotate it according to the global uh, settings, which is not what we want. We want it to be on the local axis. So we're going to go up to here, turn turn from global to local, 
And now we have our string. We want our string to rotate like that. And that's what we want. So we're going to rotate it like that once. Go to 13, rotate it up again on the Z axis. Just, this is like random movements. Go to 30, rotate it again. A little bit on 48, rotate it again. Then when we go back, we can see the wheel. See it's moving. And that's how you can simulate a vehicle, a person in a vehicle, driving through the scenery without having to actually move or animate the, the vehicle itself. Just animate the background. Animate your character in terms of them being, you know, having some life in them, not this way being stiff. And then animate the steering wheel, and there you go. So that's today's Blender Quick Tip. And I hope this uh, tip was helpful to those of you are watching. And I hope it helps you guys out. And once again, I thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel. And those of you who are subscribing now, those of you who will subscribe in the future, really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.